a problem that we're going to come across as we start chapter 7 when we want to understand the subthreshold current is this really elementary problem of the capacitive voltage divider. If I have two capacitors in series, call them C ox and C dep for the oxide and the uh, depletion layer capacitance, there's a voltage across them, call it V sub GS, V gate source, and so the bottom of the depletion capacitor is at ground. We'll call the potential between the two capacitors V sub S, which is in fact the surface potential at the interface between the oxide and the semiconductor. The goal is to find the fraction of that gate source voltage that is across the depletion capacitor. To do that, well, we're going to use the definition of capacitance, but there's, there's one thing that we're going to want to uh, understand, I think, about this setup, and that is that these two capacitors have the same charge on them. The reason why they have the same charge on them can be illustrated just by thinking about what a dipole is. You see, if I put a voltage across these two capacitors, the charges want to separate. The positive charges want to go one way, the negative charges want to go the other way. You know, the positive charges will go to this plate, and the negative charges of this plate, for instance, uh, connected by that wire in between, it makes a dipole, an electric dipole, which is two equal and opposite charges. So if you happen to have plus Q up on this one, you're going to have minus Q on this one, and you have the same amount of charge on the two capacitors we can go ahead and solve for the fraction of voltage that we find across the depletion capacitor. To do that, we just uh, write the definition of capacitance for these two capacitors. The depletion capacitor has a voltage drop of phi sub s, and so we'll write Q equals CV for that capacitor, Q being phi sub s, C being C depletion. The oxide capacitor, same exercise, the voltage drop across it is V gate source minus V sub S, and so we'll write the definition of capacitance for that one. All we have to do is eliminate Q between these two equations. So take this first equation and substitute it in for Q right there, so replace that Q with V sub S times C depletion. Now we have an expression we've eliminated Q. Let's just uh, solve that thing for phi sub s. So to do that, got to get phi sub s all by itself. So we'll move, uh, first of all, this phi sub s over to the other side. And now it's starting to look alone. Now all you, all you have to do is take what's in the parentheses here and move them back over to the other side. And you've solved for the potential difference across the depletion capacitor phi sub s and there's you know gate source voltage divided by one plus the ratio of those two capacitors or solve it maybe a little differently multiply top and bottom by c oxide and simplify it to be b gate source times the other capacitance over the sum of the two capacitances